standing There's out a whole there. damn family standing yeah. up there. Steve, a bunch of babies. Two. I want to thank Steve Davis and the folks over at Hammer Bullets for providing ammo for this year's prairie dog hunt. I'll be using the new Absolute Hammer 90 grain bullet for the 25 GPC and the new Absolute Hammer 123 grain bullet out of my 6.5 Creedmoor. I need to thank Bruce at Mad Dog Weapon Systems for turning my Excalibur 26 inch barrel for my 25 GPC. The 25 GPC uses a modified 6.8 SPC case and launches 25 grain bullets out of an AR-15 platform. The glass on the 25 GPC is a Citron STAC 4x20x20. 50 and a crisp three and a half pound cnc trigger the 6.5 creedmoor is running a 24 inch krieger barrel on top of that is the night force nxs 8 by 32 by 56 with a timony two and a half pound trigger i also need to give a big shout out to david jared and eric for getting me much needed 6.8 spc brass for my 25 gpc the field we were hunting stretched 1280 yards north and south and 880 yards east to west we set up on a pond dam that gave us a slight elevation on the entire property i will put a rough estimate before each video clip. If you're new to prairie dog hunting, stay after the video clips for tips for your next prairie dog hunt. Need to get it in focus. Five hundred and sixty yards. After having cycling issues with my 25 GPC, I switched over to my 6.5 Creedmoor. Headshot. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Like a drunk. Damn it. You're good enough. An AR shooting platform will give you a much quicker follow-up shot, but I found myself using more ammo to get my bullets into the target. The bolt action that I was using was much slower, but I also found myself using less ammo and becoming more accurate.
A quality rangefinder is essential, but when your rangefinder fails you, use Google Maps to give you an accurate location to your distance. Before taking your first shot, even if there's 100 prairie dogs on the mounds, get the distance of your entire shooting range. Take notes with pen and paper, or do like I did and write the information on your arm. Make yardage notations of obvious out-of-place things. For example, in our field, there was one single tree at 340 yards. There were also two orange barrels at 460 yards. There was an old fence post in the middle of the north field that was around around 500 yards. There were also telephone poles at 525 yards in front of me. There were also three dead cow bone piles throughout the pasture. Label all of these, write the yardage down to gauge distances for your prairie dogs. By taking a lot of notes early, you won't be wasting time behind the rangefinder throughout the day, trying to constantly gauge the exact distance. Prairie dogs will vary in size. Most of the ones we were shooting were about the size of a 16 to 20 ounce water bottle. We got into a bunch of baby sized prairie dogs that were about as small as an eight ounce water bottle. For new shooters, or if this is your first prairie dog hunt, use a spotter to tell you where your shots are landing. If you're a more experienced shooter, you know how to spot your own splashes. I shot prone with slight forward pressure into my bipod legs with the scope slightly zoomed out. Prairie dogs are not too weary of bullet splashes a few yards in front of them, but are very weary of bullets whizzing over their head. I would purposely aim low to get a splash, then make an adjustment for the follow-up shot. Dial-up is more accurate, but holdover is faster. Whichever you choose, make a pre-cheat sheet before heading out into the field. I would dial up with my Night Force scope using my 6.5 Creedmoor. Since my Cytron s scope does not dial true, I used holdover taking shots out to 700 yards with my 25 GPC. I advise downloading iStraylock if you're using holdovers and create a pre-cheat sheet to rely on. I trust Ballistic AE for dial-up charts. Even with my dial-up charts, I would come close, then I would use holdover. All this to say, familiarize yourself with your scope and shooting system prior to getting into the field. Ron, Richard, Steven, and myself had a ball. I will be interested to see how much ammo we used. Finally got my new thermal in, so stay tuned for my next adventure.